mean, as much as we'd want to give them the good news, they, they, they won't accept it. And just by us trying, we make it first. Because my dad, um, Tony rang, rang my dad up, and my dad just whacked me on the phone because me and Tony both like reading the Bible and a lot of stuff. So yeah. I, I just started telling him it. Uh, and now he didn't want to speak to me, he doesn't want me to go over there. It's <laughs> so, so sad. Yeah. Yeah. Why I think is the if good I was, news so yeah. bad? Yeah. If, if I was to go over there, I wouldn't even bring it up. I'll just, if he was the contentious, I, I wouldn't even yeah. so, go into it anymore. But I think it's because, because they're stuck in, in the English translation. They, they haven't gone to the... To the you but haven't gone to the bother of, of trying to but look at the meanings them, of words. When you inform them of the errors in the King James translation and all the rest of it, it still doesn't convince them. Mm. They remain wedded but to the it. The only thing I think... I was going to say that, Sandy. The thing for it. Yeah. Yeah. They've been yeah. Especially yeah. how easy Took it is to mouth. understand scripture. What do you have the idea of God being good and loving in it? Mm. And then you take it all out from there. It just It's consistent and it makes sense. But if you put hell in it, it just makes no sense. There's, you it's got a contradictory completely. Mm -hmm. There's an obvious contradiction. God is love. Mm -hmm. As soon as that statement is made, and that's a straightforward statement of fact, yeah. you then have an awful hard job to try and you know to reconcile that with a God who, con who condemns 99.9% .9 mm -hmm. of his creatures to yeah. eternal torment. Yeah, yeah. It's not even, I mean, you know, at least the um, Jehovah's Witnesses uh, have a merciful God in the sense that he annihilates <laughs> those who don't uh, follow him. But God's after as much glory as he can get, surely, of isn't course, he? Of course. You know, he's not going to make 99, 100% of people and only 0.1% are going to glory him. It'd be like, praise God. It's a failure. Thank you. It's a not failure. like, yes, it's an absolute failure. <laughs> and that, and failure is sin. Yeah. It's falling short, God isn't it? Yeah. Sin. So, there is a, again, there's a contradiction. Mm. You can't fail. When you understand that God is love, it somehow that that statement somehow quietens the mind, doesn't it? Yeah, that's his nature. It's, his nature is unchanging. Yeah, his okay. nature is love. That's it. I like also the fact that what men mean for evil, whatever a, a, another man does, intending evil, intending evil, God always God uses makes it good. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why um, you know it says it is given to man once to die, then the judgment. The judgment on every man will be good. You done yeah, well. That's right. You done right. Because yeah. like, you got the Joseph is a good example because you got his brothers, and if there's any punishment they received, it's prior to the judgment. The judgment was what you intended for evil, God yeah. for good. Yeah. Uh, and, and then from that, well, they got the, they become reconciled with Joseph, with their father, who becomes happy. It's all good, isn't it? Yeah. But up to that point, to make it so good, there's got to be that. Oh no, what have we done? Oh, oh, all that. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Mm. That's 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 us thinking that we failed. Mm. You know, that is what that is. And we've really got to become like intimate with our failure and know it and feel it deep mm. down. Which mm. is actually the lake of fire. Mm. Yeah. That's it. That's what you've come to through that. Mm. I always thought the lake of fire also was in Revelation fourteen ten. Um, In the presence of the holy angels and, the, and of the Lamb, God's wrath poured out. Wrath. Was that mixture? Not His wrath, very... wrath, sorry, wrath. Uh -huh. wrath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they the also wrath. think it there that, that Jesus drank of the cup of God's wrath. Yeah. He, he drank it down to the dregs and just left us to leave. I mean, <clears throat> if this is um, the depiction of hell, as in what you know we've been talking about, um, this is it. It says, this, Revelation fourteen ten. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented within with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Now I've said to many people who believe in hell, is, is hell the absence of anything good? Oh yes, most definitely they would say. So you're saying that, you know, the holy angels and the Lamb's not in there, oh, there'd be nothing good there at all. It's the absence of God, of all goodness. You point them to that and they're gobsmacked. It's been there for thousands of years, but they've not read it. <laughs> they've yeah. probably read it, but it doesn't sink in. But then they'll, they'll probably then refer you to the parable of Lazarus and the rich man. Which right. is a parable. Yeah. A parable, yeah. that's right. Which they'll is a probably parable. refer you to that, where Abraham is able to see. So he's in the presence of Abraham, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. In that 
place of torment. Yeah. Do you yeah. think that, that yeah. particular parable, the rich man, he symbolizes Judah and like the kingdom of Judah, and then the poor man, he's a ten lost tribe. Yeah. And that's also when Jesus says, who's better? Him that goes away saying he won't do a sin, yeah. but Correct. does it. Then, yeah, yeah, that's right, exactly that, yeah. Oh, in, in the verse that Andrew pointed out, is, is the beast, do you think that's a pope? Yeah. I, that's, I that's Babylon. Yes, so, that, so this is talking it's, about what's going to happen to the people in the church system. It's the carnal mind. Yeah. You see, what does it say? What they, the, the ones who follow the beast have the mark of the beast in the forehead and in the hand. Mm. Their deeds and their thoughts. Oh, and that's what, because in, in, in the book of the law, it says to keep the Torah before your forehead. And the stupid Pharisees went and yeah, actually. Exactly. <laughs> carnal thinking. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, we've mentioned before, haven't we, Caroline, about the man with the ink horn in yeah, Ezekiel, like which is one of the most tremendous uh, examples of where the sons of God are. Yeah. Where is that scripture? Um, is it in um, Samuel? Ezekiel. 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 Yeah. You see, the, ma the beast, the mark of the beast is not some silly credit card no. number or, or chip. some sort of microchip play mm. pl placed in someone's hand. If it were possible, even the very that, elect would be deceived. It's more subtle than that. Yeah. Even if it were possible, even the very elect would be deceived by this. Mm. Well, even carnal Christians will not be deceived by that. Yeah. The very elect would certainly not be deceived by it. But it is so subtle that if it were possible, even the very elect would be deceived by it. It's not, of course. The very elect cannot be deceived by it. But that, that mark of the beast is the carnal mind. Yeah. To be carnally minded is death. Yeah. Yeah. It's that way of thinking. Whereas the man with the inkhorn speaks of a different type of person. We've got scripture, I think. Ezekiel chapter 9. Well, the yeah. whole of chapter 9 is oh, worth reading. I'll try. <laughs> Not too many big, those big long words in, in there. We all got it, we? Yeah. He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the high gate, which lieth towards the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's inkhorn in his side. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. And the glory of the Lord of Israel was gone up from the cherub, uh, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house, and he and he called to the to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh in the uh, that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that, that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said, In mine hearing, go ye after him through the city, and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at, the, at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house, and he said unto them, Defile the house, and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth, and they went forth, and slew in the city. And it came to pass, while they were slaying them, and I was left, that I fell upon my face, and cried, and said, Ah, Lord God, wilt thou destroy, destroy all the residue of Israel, in thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem? Then said he unto me, the iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great, and the land is full of blood, and the city full of pervertness. perverseness. For they say, The Lord hath taken the earth, and the Lord seeth not. And as for me also, mine eye shall not spare, neither 
will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. And behold, the man clothed with linen, which had the inkhorn by his side, reported matter, saying, I have done as thou hast commanded me. See, the man with the inkhorn sealed those who groaned over Israel's sins, who mourned over Israel's sins. The ones who mourn over Israel's sins are those who have the heart of the Father. They have the way they think, they have the mind of Christ. Yeah. They think the way God thinks. And that is what the, 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 the sealing of the man with the inkhorn is. It was the seal in the forehead. These are those who have the mind of Christ. They are the body of Christ. Mm. Obviously, if, if they are linked to the head, they yeah. have the, the thoughts of the head. Mm. And that is the difference. You see, all oh, that's what God is doing in the age that we're saying. We have to live in present truth. What is God doing today? People often ask me this. What is present truth for today? Yeah. Present truth, because we, you know, it's no good us building arcs to save our families from a, a coming flood. Yeah. It's Noah four thousand years ago. <laughs> Noah did yeah. because it was present truth for Noah. Yeah, yeah. It was right for him to do that. It's not any good for us because God said He's never going to put a flood on the earth again. Yeah. So stupidity, if we went ahead and said, oh, no, it did, that is written in the Bible, let's go and do it. That is what, going by the letter, not by the spirit, not present truth. Present truth is, what is God doing today? Is it, oh, he's setting up churches like he did in the old, in, in the, the, at the Acts of the Apostles, and, uh, you know, we have, um, mm -hmm. you know, we have all this sort of thing going on, and we all, uh, we all have these healings, all, this, all these gatherings, and all the rest of it. No, he's not doing that either. No, he's not doing that, yeah. God is doing something different because God is a progressive God. He, had, he, he, is, he is moving from, he's, he's working through his plan. He's yeah. not like man, has to sort of pitch his tent in a place and stay there forever and fears change. God moves his plan according to what his purpose is. Yeah. We've reached the end of this age. It's no good now building churches and having ministries and all the rest of it as they did in the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. Off now, that, it? Because this age is perishing. Yeah, it is, yeah. We're coming yeah. into a new understanding of the age yeah. of the Kingdom of God when it says, you'll say not to your brother, know the Lord. Yeah. Because every will. man shall know him, from the least yeah. to the greatest. Yeah, yeah. So what use then is a, pro is a, is a preacher? No use. Everyone will know him. Yeah, no use. He's he's made redundant. Yeah, he hasn't got a job. And that is actually the mark of a great ministry. Yeah, a redundant one. <laughs> That's right. He's he's pointed away to Christ and his flock of. And now he is no longer necessary. necessary. Yeah. He can now depart from the scene as John the Baptist did, and not even be uh, missed to yes. to that extent. Yeah. yeah, because those have gone on following after the Lamb with us, whoever he go. So the man with the inkhorn. Is what is, is at work now, sealing in the minds those who God has called out of Babylon. Those who have not been called out of Babylon are sealed with a different mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're sealed with the carnal. mark of the beast, which is the carnal mind, yeah. not the mind of Christ. There's yeah. a sharp distinction between yeah. the two. Yeah. Some sealed with the mind of Christ are completely. Um, given over to God, and to them, God reveals his secrets. Mm. Jesus said to the disciples, he said to them, it is not given. Mm. To you it is given, given to them, yeah. the mysteries of the kingdom, to them it is not given. Mm. So we, because we've drawn aside as Mary did, to sit at his feet to learn of him, we're taught these things. Mm. Those who are busy about, like Martha, buzzing around, Miss don't it. understand anything, yeah. Yeah. because they're not in, they're not in, involved not, in that. She was doing fault. works, wasn't she? Yeah. No, it's not their fault. It's not though. their fault. They're not. They're no. just, Certainly it's, not. Yeah. No, no, of course not. Because it's, it's choice. It's the, yeah. the the key is in the word. You know, the, if it were possible, the very elect would yeah. be deceived. The yeah. elect yeah. cannot be deceived. Yeah. The elect are called into this position. We are elected to this. Those whom he knew, he foreknew, those he did predestinate yeah. to be conformed to the image of his son. And you can't get around that. Romans 8, 29, isn't it? Yeah, you can't get around that. The, the Babylon struggles with predestination, has to try and find a, uh, you know, a some sort of contradictory way of explaining it. And I've I heard one of the great preachers of Babylon saying that God doesn't predestinate, 
what it is, is that uh, God looks through all things and sees how things are and, uh, and knows that all the choices that you've made during your life will lead you to what God has, you know, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, sees yeah. you yeah, to be. So he basically says, that's what I want you to be. Well, that's God's not in control, control then, is there? God not is at all. Not in control. It's plagiarism. There's no, there's no control yeah. in that whatsoever. And actually, there's no predestination in it yeah. either. Yeah. <laughs> God, God, God's in, 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 he's making all the moves, isn't he? He's the, he's the great, the all great chess player. All things are speak. of God. Yeah. All things are of God. Yeah. God works all things according to the counsel of his own will. Yeah. And it's always good. His will is perfect. Absolutely. It's in good. Long run, well, I've seen it at a time point. No, it's a harsh <laughs> reality down here, Sand. I mean, you but know, it's that, death that and is, decay. And that's where faith comes in. Yeah. That's why we believe. How why do we believe? Is it blind faith? Because it's written here, do we believe it? Well, no. We believe it because we know Him. Yes. This is a big thing to, to say. We know Him. Can He do evil? Can He do harm? Can He do harm to us? No. He can't. We know He won't, and He can't because we know Him as a person. Yes. Although it appears that He does, we know that He can't. In a sense, God doesn't have free will either. Just as our choices yes. are a direct result of our character, so are God's choices. Correct, yeah. yeah. And all yeah. that free will really is. <laughs> well, that's, that's yeah. why I said it's impossible for God to lie. Yeah. Well, in a sense, with total free will, he could lie, couldn't he? Yeah. Well, it, it, his choices could be to lie, but then... Yeah. yeah. But he does lie. Why did he kill the because that's a, it's a parable, oh. Carol, and same as the mark on the on the, the, the those who the man with the ink horn is sealed. We have, I mean, we can't see any mark, no, no. but it's a symbol of that. The mind of Christ, we God has taken, you know, has shielded us, and, has, and all the mysteries of God are revealed to us yeah. and hidden from those outside. Mm -hmm. To be carnally minded is death. So if you've got the mark of the beast, you're dead. You don't have to be slain, actually. You are, you're that, the carnal mind has slain you. Yeah. You know, Jesus said, you know, we spoke to someone once, and they said, well, you know, let me go and first bury my father. Definitely. Jesus said, let the dead, mm. which you're all walking around out here, mm. bury their dead. Mm -hmm. They're all dead. They're all dead. It's all carnal mm. mind, isn't it? Because they're locked in the carnal mind. They can only comprehend things through the five natural senses. They have no com no concept at all to Spirit. understand spiritual things. It's been hidden from them, you see. It's not been given to them to know. Jesus said that, didn't he? You know, but we are different. We we have revelations and yeah. visions and dreams and witness miracles and have these miracles done on us as well. Except a man be born again. Mm -hmm cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is a born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. That's, the, that's the, it's as simple as that. Mm. And how do we get born again? Do, do we choose that? Do we refine or reform ourselves to that? No, it's a, it's a completely an act of the spirit. Mm. I thought you had to go back in your own group. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot unpredestinate yourself, can you? How dare you? <laughs> You well, you're in well, good company with that, Chris. You know, ruler in Israel thought the same, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he understand was. it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, no, that's a tremendous story, that the man with the inkhorn. Yeah. The, the <coughs> contrast between that and the, and the, the mark of the beast. And that's what I say, you can see that, then it makes it clear what yeah. the mark of the beast is, as opposed to this, this ludicrous idea. That it's some sort of uh, you know um, electronic uh, chip Tag or something yeah. that people yeah, yeah. are going to have n uh, you know yeah. clip to them that will then mean that they worshippers of the beast. Yeah, and that all ties in with this with beast. this post trip pre trip nonsense, doesn't mm. it? Yeah, absolutely. And also, it's being fearful of something that man can do that the greatest thing can do. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, like if, if they ever did bring in chips to, and you couldn't buy or sell without them, I would like I want I want fish and chips. I'll just get the chip. What was that to be scared of? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just nonsense. Don't take the mark, wouldn't they? I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. So you're big into that one. Yeah, big, big into that. that sort of thing. Very big into this yeah. simulation. Yeah. Don't take the. Don't take the. Who was that? 
Tony, Tony. Clennon, the chap that I did. Uh, oh, right. And, and that, 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 that trip, that happened well. in, in, yeah. like, in the first century AD, all the, all the tribulations and stuff. Because that's what Christ... I think it was AD 70, wasn't it? Wasn't that, that was that the end of it. it. Yeah. That was it, wasn't it, really? Yeah. Then, then, then that held it and never raised, didn't it? Yeah. But there was a period from Christ's death until that. So that held it the age which we're in now in, which is now coming to an end. Or the beginning of this age, effectively, yeah. yeah. And then that Because that's when the, the old uh, age of the law, the making sacrifices and all the rest of it, was wiped away. Mm -hmm. yeah. Scrapped completely. Yeah. And that's what I said, we're now living at the time when this age is ready to be scrapped. Yeah, yeah. it is. I feel that as well. Yeah, I, I, I feel as if, as if all Chris mentioned this um, a few months back. Is that a spiritual thing? He said to me that. <laughs> he said to me that it, you know, creation is is tired, and it is. You know, it keeps yeah. doing the same old thing. The sun keeps yeah. going round. The earth keeps spinning. The earth, you know, the, the ground keeps producing more and more. You know, we now have to fire different stuff into the ground to get it the yeah. yield up. Yeah. It, it's it's just tired. Yeah. It's worn out. Yeah, it is. You know, I don't know how much longer it will go on for. I don't think it's got very long to go. I, I don't think anyway, because I think because of what God is doing in this age, He is calling individuals out. I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, I will come into him and sup with him, and he with me. So it's the individuals yeah. that God is calling out in this latest and age. They're all with warm out there. They. You know, they'll, they'll give you the impression they're on fire for God, but they're not at all. Yeah. They might be on fire for their organisation, they might be on fire for grabbing money in order to yeah. make themselves wealthy, well, but they certainly have no interest in the glory of God whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. None at all. Yeah. A, a, a lot of us, though, that are, are, are set aside, we can appear to those as being lukewarm. Uh, absolutely. Because that's what a restful person would appear yeah. to. Yeah. Correct, person. that's absolutely right, because they call good evil, Evil good. They put yeah. light for darkness and darkness for light. And that is how they do it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, but that's that's how it's always been. You know, what do they say of Jesus? He has a glutton and a wine bibber. Mm. He has Beelzebub. You know, he's, he's, yeah. he's the prince of the devils. He's possessed. You know, yeah. And and um, and when when they walk through the I've said this before about you know the, the you know about the righteousness which is of God by faith. It can appear to the to those in the carnal mind and in Babylon as actually being evil. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there, do, was, yeah. there was an occasion when Jesus walked through the, the, the wheat fields with his disciples and they rubbed corn together on the Sabbath. How yeah. dreadful was that to do yeah. such a thing on a, on a Sabbath day? Yeah. It was perfectly okay. Yeah. And Jesus healed a man yeah. on yeah. the yeah. Sabbath yeah. day. Yeah. But, uh, you know, awful. Yeah. Jesus said it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath day. Yeah. So, to the carnal mind, those who walk in the spirit are treated as evil, yeah. as sinners. Yeah. Yeah. But the wonderful thing, like Chris says about resting in the spirit, is we don't have to account to these people. We're not accountable to no man apart from God. Absolutely. We don't have to account to these people. We don't have to impress them either. You know, because what we look for is like, they did in Hebrews 11. We look for a city that has foundations, not one that's passing away. Yeah. Man might pat you on the back. There is nothing on this planet at the moment, Chris, I can find with foundations. There is none. <coughs> Man might pat you, pat you on the back one week. They may actually follow after you and shout out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. But the following week, they will crucify you. Yeah. That's what man does, isn't it? Yeah. A fallen creature. That's what but man does. What we look for is that time when God says, Well done, yeah. that good and faithful servant. Well, there's that really good verse in Corinthians about that, isn't there? Where he says, um, Judge nothing before the time, yeah. but wait until the Lord comes, when everything shall be put out there, everything Absolutely. secret and hidden will be put out there, like yeah. all the shameful things, yeah. and then every man will receive his applause from God. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That, yeah. That epic, that's that's right. absolutely incredible, isn't it? It is. Because, yeah. don't forget, we will all get a full reward. Yeah. You see, this is another error in Babylon, that God, the judgment seat of Christ, uh, that, that the Lord Jesus Christ is sort of basically keeping a tally, you know, that, oh, that was a good work, so, you know, you're going to get a crown for that, but that's no good. So when <laughs> Take it away know, again. <laughs> um, when we get before the judgment seat of Christ... He then will go through with us and, all, and tell us all the, not, the bad things we've done, 
and said, well, look, you know, you, you, you won a crown of glory for that there, but I'm sorry you got to forfeit that because, uh, you know, this one was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> which makes a nonsense of the scripture when it says he will present us before the throne of his father with exceeding joy without blemish it's because it's yeah. his own judgment he's giving he's not judging us as individuals he's judging himself yeah. that goes for every individual that's ever lived has lived will live yes. there, there, there's a pattern of it in Samuel when Eventually. David he goes out of the troops and every single yeah. Israelite gets that's given right. the same that, reward absolutely. Yeah. absolutely even the ones that stayed back in the camp yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that, that's what's so safe about what we yeah, have that, here. That is really good news. That's good news. That is really good news, isn't it? But the world can't receive it, Sam. He yeah, doesn't no, like that. No. He, he, he likes. He likes to, you know, to be busy. But it's because it expects Works. God to give as man gives. It does. It and really brought tears to my eyes. What yeah. you just said. Yeah, and, it, and, 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 and man likes to have rank as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, definitely. You know, we're likes to be esteemed. Well, I, you know, it's nice for me to sit on a, you know, here and for you lot to be down there, you know. <laughs> me to have this great reward, for you to have all that, you know. No, 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 no. Paul said exactly the opposite. He said, what is my hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Ah, that I'm going to stand there with a great crown of glory on my head. He said, no. He said, this is my hope and joy and crown. Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ? What a glorious... Yeah. What a glorious reward that is. When yeah. we all, yeah. when we stand before our glorious Saviour, we can look around and see one another. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, awesome. we that, that is a reward. That's awesome, isn't it? That yeah. really is. That is truly when tremendous. When we consider that all we are, really, is just dust. Yeah. yeah. But when you yeah. look, when in that day, Sandy, when we stand before the Lord Jesus and I look around and I see you yeah. glorified <laughs> nice. in a spiritual body in the yeah. image of my Saviour, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, you yes, know, right. that would be a joy to me to see that. And then I'll turn and I'll say, Lord, you're wonderful. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, it will redound to his glory. I'll say, you know, him? Yes. Him? Yes. You did it, Lord. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes. No one else could do it. Let alone me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one else could do it, I'll tell you. No, but, but it's that, that is the difference between yeah. Babylon that seeks position and seeks its own glory and the praise of man, yeah. and those who are truly born of the Spirit, who actually only have one idea, one thought in their mind. How can I glorify, glorify my Father? Father? Yeah, that's right. Jesus, when he said, Father, glorify thy name. Yes. And the God said, he said, I have both glorified it, and I will glorify it again. That's right. Why? Jesus said, when I'm lifted up, draw men. I shall draw all men unto myself. So the more he is glorified, the more Lord. gathered to him. Yes, that's right. And what does Babylon do? Well, they just push him to one side and they replace him with their own. You know, this is this is the great man you've got to go and see. Yeah. You know, they grand. flock the all, over the, all over the world, all over the country, following after these great preachers. Yeah. And, in, and in doing that, they depart from the, the, the lamb with a swever ego. And that's what shows you that they're false ministries. John said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Mm. Mm. And it says they left him and went and followed him. Yeah. And he soon became redundant, old John, didn't he? But Stop Jesus beheaded. said that there was no man born of women greater, greater than, than John, John the Baptist. Yeah. Right. yeah. That yeah. was a great ministry. Yeah. What a great ministry. That's that right. Is. That, that, that how is. Long, the, sorry. How long was he baptizing and preaching repentance before Christ came? Well, it wasn't long, long, was it? Because he was long. only a matter of a few months older than Jesus. Yeah. Yes, it was long. I wonder how Christ felt when he, found, when he heard the news that John had been beheaded. Then. Yeah. Well, it, I, he knew it was going to happen, didn't he? Yeah. He must have felt that, that pang of... I mean, he would know the long term, but I mean, he must have felt that, that pang of grief as well, wasn't he? He was, a, he was tempted in all points like as we are. Yeah. So he must have suffered that grief. Yeah, he, he, he suffered at Lazarus' right? death, didn't he? Yeah. what he mourned yeah, over that. He cried over Lazarus. Right. Jesus wept, yeah. Yeah, he mm. cried over Lazarus. Yeah. Mm. Just Knowing that Lazarus was going to be risen, yeah. was raised in yeah. sort of, you know, a matter of minutes after that. But, but, but maybe, though, he, he, he obviously had has an, an empathy on the, is exactly our level, too, to understand us. Jesus. He suffered as well, son. His suffering made him perfect. Jesus is a man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in, in the, the Lazarus passage, I've always read his weeping not as a result because not because Lazarus was dead physically, 
but because everybody else was suffering in yeah, the morning, he looked around he, and he, all he, that. He, yeah, he absolutely, he, uh, he, he, he understood the grief of those that were around, like Mary and Martha, I mean, that must have grieved him to see that. But what a tremendous saviour. Yeah. Yeah. And he chose to become a man. He wasn't a man initially, he, was he? He was the Logos, and he emptied himself and took upon him the, the, the uh, form of man. So yeah. what does Logos mean? It's the word, isn't it? it was That's what he translated as. Yeah, it was the, he was the Logos. He was the expression of God. It means that it's like a kind of a thought or idea. Yeah. That's how it's often used in Greek philosophy. Yeah. And, um, and yeah. so Jesus Christ yeah. is the thought of God. What's your, what's your views on the... I mean, Babylon preaches the, the, the Trinity. Trinity, doesn't it? The Father, Son and Holy Spirit. What's your thoughts on that one again, Chris? There is one God. One God. And, and it, yeah. it, it, it's concluded beyond all, any, all shadow of doubt by Corinthians. And why they don't, why they read this and don't actually com comprehend what it says staggers me. Right. Because it's plain and straightforward. It's 1 Corinthians 8. If Jeff needs a pillow behind his neck. Jeff, is your, is your neck hurting? Do you want a pillow behind your head? No, it's okay, I think. You okay, are you? 1 Corinthians 8, 4 to 7. 4 to 7. Have you got that, Carl? Yeah, sorry, yeah go on. Therefore, concerning the eating of the speak up, please. Do I do it? Is that it? Yeah, that's the one. You should, you should speak up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Therefore, concerning the eating of things offered to idols, we know that an idol is nothing in the world, and there, and that there is no other god but one. For even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as there are many gods and many lords. Yet for us there is only one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we for him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and through whom we live. Is that right? Yeah. Next verse? Yeah. No. However, there is, there is not in everyone that knowledge, for some with the consciousness of, of, of the idol until now eat, it is a thing offered to an idol, and their conscience being weak is defiled. That's it. That's it. See, to us it says there is but one, one God, God, the yeah. Father. Yeah. That's straightforward. That's mm. that's that's uh, you know that's a clear statement. Yeah. And one Lord. Yeah. Jesus Christ. There's not even a mention of the Holy Spirit. No. You know, and how many times we see that you know that that, that God, you know that Jesus, that God says through you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you. Uh, but there's no, you know, there's no this triune business about there being three of them. You'll never see that anyway. But that is a clear statement. There's one God. Yeah. And it's the Father. Right. Jesus said, "I go to my God and your God." He is God, the Father. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, when it says Holy Spirit, would you say another, a, a, a good rendering of that would be something like the uh, early separate and distinct power? That's a good. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Because that leads you into all truth, doesn't it? Yes. yes. Yeah. I mean, he does say that. That. that does it say something about, about the comforter? I will send the comforter to be with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once I've gone, I will send. Then the comforter. Whilst I'm here, I, I, the comforter can't come. Yeah. When I go, the comforter. That is the Holy Spirit, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, so why is this? This, this kind of, I mean, it is. It is. Well, the Holy, or a it's what some, yeah, it's it's the it's Holy Spirit, Spirit, isn't it? It's, it's, it's the scent. It's the power of God. Yeah, mm. yeah. See, it speaks about Jesus when he was born, doesn't it? It said, you know, you know, Mary said, well, how can this be? And the angel said to her that, you know, that the, you know, the, 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 the what was it to say? How it puts it. The Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Yeah. Therefore also the holy begotten thing shall be called Son of God. The power of God will over 
shadow work. It was the power of God. It's God's. It's the projection of God, if you like. It's his power. Mm. The, the, the word translated. It's not come from Christ. It's come from the Father. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All things come from God. All things come from the Father. And you'll find this really all the way through Scripture. God is the one who starts everything, who originates everything. But he works through his agent, the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because Jesus mm. is the express image of the Father, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. You know, the brightness of his glory, yeah. the express image of the Father. When we see Jesus, Jesus said, he that has seen me has seen, seen the Father. Yeah, yeah. And what you see there is exactly what God is going to do with the whole of the universe. Yeah. God commits to Jesus. He says, we know, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me shall, you know, shall I know, you know, will, will, I, you know, will not be cast out. So what God does is he commits to the one he can trust. Yeah, yeah. His prized possessions. Yeah, yeah. So the prized possession of this universe, he will commit to those who he can trust. Yeah. Those exactly in his image and yeah. likeness. Yeah. The sons of God. Yeah. Exactly like him. Knowing that their thoughts are his thoughts. Yeah. His, yeah. Their ways are his ways. Yeah. At the moment, his ways are not our ways. It's, you know, not, uh, his thoughts are not our thoughts. But we're, we're being conditioned. But we are being transformed yeah. by the renewing of our minds so that our thoughts are becoming his thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Our ways are becoming his ways yeah. to the point when, in fact, they will be completely the same. The same. Yeah. And God can entrust us with the vastness of this universe, knowing that we won't wreck it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, right. Man has done a good job of wrecking this little bit oh, yeah, to teach him just how hopeless he is without yeah, yeah. Uh, being connected to the to the Creator. Yeah. But well, God is making us all into good and faithful servants who when given the command of the universe yeah. will treat it properly. We, 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 we won't be able to wreck it Chris, we, we won't have no, no motor cars to pollute it. <laughs> we'll be in the spiritual <laughs> realm then won't we? You've got a different forward but, factor, uh, don't you? you know, the thought of what God has in store for the universe yeah. is tremendous. Mm -hmm. I often wondered, you know, ever since I was a child I, 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 I wondered, you know, this thing about heaven and hell and I thought, well if I go, go to heaven, I get to, like in Ezekiel or something, it says, I get to worship the God, God forever and ever. I thought, oh, I don't want that, that would be so boring. But that would be the strength. <laughs> <laughs> I sat on a cloud somewhere just going, hallelujah, hallelujah, From, hallelujah. When, when faced with that being the alternative, the alternative to that being eternal torment, yeah. you would still choose that. Mm. Yeah. But... Way devalues what God has oh, in store for yeah. man. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, and, and also, I, I, I don't think I, 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 did, I knew something like that, that that can't be right. That 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 that, that, no. that, that, that doesn't seem right. No. 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 And, and, well, the childish notion of going to heaven or going to hell. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't like those expressions no. at all. No. 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 You know, the yeah. mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus to be exactly like God. Yeah. That is heaven, yeah. wherever you are. And there will, no, there will be no such thing as not heaven, you know, because all that, all sorrow, death, all the rest God. of it will all be abolished. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And it is incredible what God must have in store for the universe because look at what effort he's putting in yeah. to creating the stewards of that universe. Yeah. What must it be like when he, what, what will it be like when he puts it all into place? The, the mind cannot the understand. Hardest, man, man's in the hardest of his creation. Really. Has to be because man is totally depraved. <laughs> yeah. So I remember one yeah. of my earliest um, spiritual thoughts as a young child in Barrington Road. I, I must have been, I, I reckon, five or six, maybe younger. I don't know. And then, uh, and, and, and up until then, I was free in my thoughts. I was completely free in everything. And then this notion of, of heaven and hell came about and it completely thrown me into a tiswas. And, 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 I, and, I, and, I, and I became very aggressive at it, you know, back then as a young child. And, I, and I'm thinking, why should I have to make this choice? You know, choose, you know, the, 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 you know this, 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 this was so, so unsettling at the time for me. I, remember, I remember that. And that was the first notion that 
but I must have heard it from somewhere, mm. perhaps from memo, I expect. Probably. You know, uh, this notion of, of, of be a good person and... Yeah, you know, good go to heaven, bad go to hell. And yeah. But that is the experience so of all of us. Yeah. If you go to Re Romans 7, verses 9 to 11, You'll see that's experience of all of us in one in one way or another. Yeah, I'm sure that has to be, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Romans seven. Romans seven verses nine to eleven. <laughs> yeah, I'll read it. <clears throat> Romans seven nine to eleven. Um, we got it. Yeah. For I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. And the. I was alive without the law. Absolutely, yeah. yes. When yeah. when the law's not there, you're free. Yeah. Mm. And you're alive. Oh, so that's totally right. But once the law comes, it kills you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly it. I, I felt that's completely it. alive. Innocent. Like yeah. a rabbit or, 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 or a bird in the not head. Not a care in the world. Yeah. But the law comes, it kills you. Yeah, it does, yeah. That's what it does. Yeah. But yeah. they got a really wrong view of what innocence is. Yeah. Because I, I think a baby can, can innocently talk about anything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Shame. Yeah. But they can <laughs> run around with no clothes on, with no yeah. shame. Well, and then, then the yeah. second, the second you tell a child off, yeah. that's when it loses its innocence. That's right. Because it hides, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not that what you told it off for that's right. goes away. It's, exactly. it's like in order to do that, it's, 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 it's essential. You yeah. have to do that. You can't just let a child do as they please. That's the whole part of growing up, and that's what this is. It's all part of that. <laughs> so carry on, Andy. Uh, and the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it slew me. So the commandment that was ordained to life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What, what, yeah. Is that in the kingdom that, it's, that, that the life that the law was ordained for will be? Yeah, yeah. Sure, you know, but by that you'll live. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's intended, you know, it was yeah. meant for that, but yeah, yeah. it killed it. It killed yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why? So because it's impossible to keep. Yeah. It's through we, we, we're not strong enough to keep the law. No. So if it, if it kills you back then, that means that, that you're calmly minded at that point then. Correct, you're dead. Yeah. And what do you need then? You need a saviour. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the schoolmaster. Yeah, yeah. Bring you to Christ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think, yeah. Uh, the, what a wretched man that I am. Yeah, yeah. Who shall deliver me from the body of this death, carnal mind? Who shall deliver me from the body of this carnal mind? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Thanks, Thanks be to God, which yeah. gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. That's the difference, the wonder of knowing what a great saviour he is, as opposed to being selective, depending on your choice. Yeah. If you if you merit it, you'll be saved. If you don't merit it, sorry, you're condemned to eternal torment. No. You can't save yourself. That's right, you yeah. cannot, you're yeah. totally helpless. That's what the Pharisees said to Jesus on the cross, when they come down and save you. Save yourself, yeah. And that's what's constantly said to us by Babylon. <coughs> Save yourself. Go out and do some works. Yeah. They, they, Make they, yourself they, acceptable to God. They've got to do works. It's, it's just in their makeup, in their psyche to do it, isn't it? They, they have to appease God. Yeah. They're blinded, though, son. They, don't, they know not what they do. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you see... You know, a dog all, returns to his vomit. We, yeah. We've all been indoctrinated for, for years. Yeah. Uh, most of our physical lives. But son, if we, you know, into this, yeah. But, you know. but isn't it wonderful that Jesus said, "You shall know the truth, yes, and true. the yeah. truth shall make you free." You know, when that when the word starts to come to you, yeah. you know, the words I speak unto you are spirit and life, yeah. not carnal mind. Yeah. Now, yeah. spiritually mind is life and yeah. peace. Yeah. So now you hear the words of the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ that are spirit and life. Yeah. That is to you life and. Yeah. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Yeah. Yeah. I am accepted by the Father. I heard that scripture give me years and years and years ago. I never understood it. Yeah. And all of a sudden it just hit me. Yeah. Yeah. And if we didn't have this revealed to us, Sandy, we'd still be in Babylon now. Yeah. I mean, thank God that, that God has chose us. Yeah. And he and he and he and he put it on our minds. I came out of the church system. Yeah. 
or at least ten years ago, and uh, and I felt I just felt I wasn't getting it. I just I just knew it wasn't right for me. Yeah. I just knew it wasn't right. The voice of the dragon sound. That's what it is. I just did not. I didn't like it. I just didn't like it, Chris. Because it wasn't good news. My experience, Sandy. Well, sorry, Caroline, you go. Did the church you didn't like it? I didn't. I, I tried a few different churches. Well, you did that. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. From these ultra charismatic ones, right down to the one in um, Elim Pentecostals. Yeah. yeah. And then all, all, all yeah, different churches. Yeah. And that. But it, it just wasn't me. No. Yeah. Well, see, see, my experience was that I was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. <laughs> <laughs> I was part of it. I mean, I was only in there for about four or five years, but when I was in it, that was it, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you had to go out and knock on doors and preach the gospel and all the rest of this, and open air meetings, all the rest. Did all of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when that revelation came yeah. that this is all vanity. Yeah, yeah, totally. It is all vanity. It's vanity, and it is actually something that God abhors. Yeah. You know, this harlot system is the is the hold of every foul and unclean spirit. The hold of every, un, you know, the cage of every hateful bird. You know, that on her head is written mystery, Babylon the Great, mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. When that revelation came to me, I, my immediate reaction was to mourn. Yeah. <laughs> we did all those works, haven't you, all for nothing? Yeah, because... <laughs> All my ambitions and my yeah. uh, were just reduced to ashes. Good. <laughs> yeah. It's a rethink time. And where it? do I go from here? Yeah. On a Sunday, what do I do? Yeah. That you first didn't Sunday, go I didn't church, go. Did what do I do today? You know. But within three, four months, Sandy, I found that the Lord was and was was Working. pouring understanding into me. Yeah. And then meeting someone in Babylon, I found that I was inst well, when I was there, they were there. And I was here. Three months later, they were there, and I was over here. Yeah. And I couldn't understand the gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now of course, yeah. there is no. Uh, you know, I'm. You know, I'm just in a totally different. That's the reason world why they don't understand us, Chris. Yes. Is because the gap is so they big, they can't comprehend it. They don't pursue it. you, Chris. No, pursue they you. don't. I mean, one, one, uh, to my surprise, I mean, within, after about three years, I had a knock at the door one day. I don't know where these people come from. Knock at the door one day, opened it, and, one, and, and the, there was a Plymouth Brethren organisation just opened yeah. up round the corner from where we live. Yeah. And I'd never seen this person in my life. Knocked on the door, he said, well, we've heard about you. We'll come. Like, what, what? You know, so they came in, two of them, they were elders of this group, and they sort of started to speak to me, and I said, you know, I'm sorry, I don't belong to any of this. He said, well, what about Galatians, you know, for something or other? I said, I don't know, let's read it, you know, because it's, you know, it's all right to quote scriptures. So you, you invited them into the house, did you? Yeah, yeah, I have no problem with that. And no. so, but, you know, they were trying to convince me to go and join their organisation. Yeah. Yes, where, where would I ever join any of these organisations ever again? You can't see it, not, not, in, not in this earth, no. No, Jesus, it says, to him was given the key of David. Yeah. He opens, yeah. and no man shuts. Yeah. And he closes... And no man opens. When the door of Babylon was shut to me, I can't open it again. Mm, that's right. I don't want to open it anymore. Now, mm. no more do I mourn yeah, no. not being <laughs> part of Babylon. Yeah. I rejoice yeah, yeah. that I have nothing ev at all to do with it. Mm. But I thank God that I spent time in it. Yes. Well, it would have been a learning thing, wouldn't it? Yeah, I thank yeah. God that, that, that God has has brought me to salvation through yeah. sin and death. Yeah. We all thank God for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's better for us. That's what this, 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 that's what this place is for, isn't it? Yeah, and it's wonderful. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful to have experienced sin and death. <laughs> what is life and peace without knowing what sin and death is? Well, well, we, haven't, well, we haven't had the full measure yet. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, come, but we have a taste of it, it says, doesn't it? Yeah. But, we but, do have a taste of it. By the time we finish our physical lives here, we've had the full measure of it, haven't we? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Well, we've had enough of it already, Sandy. I mean, you yeah. know, it's like Jabez, isn't it? We read about Jabez. Oh, yeah. What a tremendous yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, person. I admit, I, I'm getting to that point with it. I've had enough of it, really. Yeah. I, I, I just yeah. want the end of this age just to come and just come on. Let's just right. get on with anyone. It's, it's yeah. going to happen anyway, so let's just get on with it. Yeah. That's you know, it. we've had enough bad news now. Let's just have a bit of uh, a bit of correction. Jabez. Yeah, I've had enough of it. But, but you know, I mean, we just got to uh, just rest now. Just wait. Yeah. That's all we got to do, Sonny, just rest. 
I'm just going around, you know, doing Babylon's work. There's enough people doing that already. And it will, it's all in, adds up to nothing. Well, it's all vanity, vanity, all is vanity, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's in putting one, the book in it. One, chapter, one Chronicles 4, yeah. yeah. One Chronicles 4, 9. One Chronicles four, nine and ten. One Chronicles. Just having the most best. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, the the most best, Jeff. One Chronicles four, nine and ten? Yeah. One Chronicles <coughs> four verses nine. You there yet? Um, yeah. um, I'll just hang on for a minute. Then. <clears throat> right. And Jabez was more honourable than his brethren, and his mother called his name J called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou would, wouldest keep me from evil, that I may not grieve me, and God granted him that which he requested. Yeah. That's it, it's just, it's just hidden away in there. Yeah, yeah. But that, that's the position we've got to, you see, Andy, because we, we are now partakers of the divine nature. You see, it says of, of Moses, it says he chose rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Yeah, because he could have stayed in Egypt, couldn't he? Yeah, yeah. But, but because we have been born again and our minds are being transformed, that which we previously loved, sin, we now yeah. dislike. Yeah. Yeah. The good that I would, I do not. The evil that I would not, that I do. Mm. So we would not do these things. Mm. And we have understood now that the way we overcome that is we allow Christ to dwell within us and change us by the renewing of our mind. And because we don't any longer like these things, we no longer do them. Mm -hmm. Of course not. Mm. He that is born of God sinneth not. I am absolutely convinced that it is possible to lead a life without sin. I'm convinced of that. Without failing? Definitely. I'm convinced of it. He that is born of God sinneth not. St straightforward statement of fact. But whilst we're in the flesh though, is it not impossible to fulfil all the law? You think, you think it is possible if you're born of God? Definitely. We're renewed. We are transformed by the renewing of the mind. What does it say of Job? He was a perfect man. Yeah. But would you say in order not to sin it, the, the way you would do it when you're born again is to rest fully? Yes. Because then you're not fighting against any sin. Absolutely. The good that I would, I do not. The evil that I would not, that I do. When I try to be good, I'm evil. You do bad things. Oh. Yeah. When yeah. I try not to do evil, mm -hmm. I do it. Yeah. yeah. When I rest, I do nothing. I am what I am, and what am I? I am, I am, I am born again of the Spirit of God. I'm a partaker of the divine nature. That's the reality by faith. We understand that, don't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of His light. That's the truth. Whatever our experience might suggest, the truth is that we have been translated from one mm -hmm. kingdom to another. He that is born of God sinneth not <clears throat> and smoketh not <laughs> I, 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 I've noticed the more that I've rested that I haven't fought against anything uh, and I haven't tried to go out and preach the gospel I haven't tried to do anything yeah. my understanding of scripture and what he's, what he's got in store and, and concepts like justification has just yeah. gone through the roof yeah, absolutely it does and, it, and it's effortless it, it is effortless well I've explained it this way Chris I, might, I probably heard me say it before I mean, you look back as a child when you first learned to ride a bike, and I can remember this, getting on a two-wheeled bike, mm -hmm. and you're looking at the handlebars, you look at the road, yeah. and you're like that. Yeah. And I can remember, you know, I can still hear his voice now, my dad saying, but look up. 
you know, look, look at the road ahead of you. Well, you can't do that. You know, what's you know, these bars? You know, I can't. <laughs> but when you start to learn to look at the road ahead and you pedal, you're not wobbling all over the place. You go, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And the same with that. If you see the good that you would, if you're looking all the time, well, I mustn't do that. But I've got to avoid doing that. Then you'll go straight into it. Mm. Or if you don't go into it, you'll, you'll wobble around it. Yeah. yeah. And you're not safe. You're not walking uprightly before God. Uh, and I can't mind it. Or try and put up like things that shouldn't be sins in front of you. It's, oh, it, 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 absolutely. It's like with, with, the way I think about it. I've got a certain set of duties to fulfil. Yeah. Once I fulfilled them, I'm my own man. That's I can right. Do what I want. That's right. And um, I mean, I don't like hurting people, so I don't hurt people. Yeah, that's I don't right. Like it. Yeah. But, yeah. but of Job, it says he was a perfect man who was stewed evil. Does that mean that he kept he the law? he must have had sin in him. No, he was a perfect man. There was a different thing. It, uh, keeping, the law is, right. you know, keeping the law is irrelevant. Is that impossible, though? It's impossible to keep the law. Whilst you're in the flesh. It is impossible to keep the law in the flesh. And it, not only is it impossible, it is not desirable. No. Jesus said, you cannot, you cannot attain to the kingdom of God unless your righteousness exceeds mm. the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. The righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees is the righteousness of the law. Right. Paul said, listen to this, as, re, as, as concerning the righteousness which is by the law, blameless. Yes, he was a Pharisee of the Pharisee. And he? concerning the righteousness which was by the law, blameless. That was the level of righteousness that he'd reached to. Did that mean then that he did not need Christ? No, he didn't need Christ. Yeah, because his righteousness did not exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. The righteousness that exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees is the righteousness which is of God. That's right. By faith. Yes. Which is what Chris is talking about, rest. Yes. My righteousness is the righteousness of God. And I've received that by faith. When I received Christ, I received it. The Lord, Jehovah said, can you? The Lord, my righteousness. Yes. Yeah, he I've is always, my righteousness. I've also noticed that in, in my walk for about the last five, ten years, whenever I've really fought against my nature, whenever I've tried to change myself, that's when I've messed myself up big time. Yeah. But when I've just, just given up and not... Yeah. Uh, oh, no, but yeah. 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 yeah, but that's true, you see. I Chris, think we've all been there, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, because, you see, again, the idea that Babylon gets is that, you know, we have got to be, you know, the, the natural man, and I'm not talking now of, um, when I say the natural man, I mean that man's nature is something that has to be destroyed. When, in fact, the Bible tells us that, you know, that those who reject God do those things which are against nature. Man is naturally good. You know, it's in, in the sense that a mother has a natural love for a child. It's not unnatural. Mm -hmm. That which is against nature is when a mother doesn't love a child. Yeah, that's right. You know? Yeah. So and God gave over those who sinned to do those things which were against nature. So man's basic nature yeah. is okay. It's just that it is perverted and, and uh, distorted by death. <laughs> when we get raised into life, then, you know, we are what, you know, we are... Our nature is ourselves. We don't have to change that. We are what we are. But well, we are now partakers of the divine nature. We can now, look, now, now, go back to Job, because he was a perfect man, right? Uh, and he eschewed evil. And yet, it says of Job, that Job says to God at the end of the, of the book of Job, he says, I have seen thee, I have heard of thee with the hearing of the ear. But now mine eye seeth thee, and I repent in dust and ashes. So he had something to repent of. Mm. Mm. He abhorred himself. Yeah. Mm. So he'd he gone, won. he abhorred himself. Yeah. Mm. So he went from one level of glory to another one. One level of perfection, because he was a perfect man, that's God's testimony of him. Mm. That's not Job boasting here, mm. that is God saying that. Mm. And he went to another level of glory. From a, from a level in which he, had, he heard of God and was perfect to that level of understanding we saw that. to a realm of seeing God and now he was perfect to that level of understanding. Mm -hmm. So it says of, you know, that we are, as we behold him we are changed from, you know, we're changing to the same image from glory to glory, to glory 
even by the Spirit of the Lord. So that is what it's about. But it was perfect all the time. And if you if you implant the word power instead of the Spirit there, even by the power of the Lord, that makes right. more sense, doesn't it? Yes, it, it does. Yeah. But that's I, you know, that, this is wonderful. Yeah. And with, with Job, with, God made him abhor himself in that way, so he would look away from himself to what he would be interacting yeah. with. Yeah, and and then and beholding him, he became like him. Mm. That's the whole point. If we behold him, we become like him. Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 got, you got to look look to God, haven't you? Look to look to the Saviour, not look at anywhere yeah. else, really. No man just rest on that. No man, you know, um, a, a, you know, if you, no man can see God and, and live. Is that right? That's what it says, isn't it? Yeah. No man can see God and die. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. They get changed. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, Adam and Eve walked with God in the garden, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. So they must have saw him then. Yeah, well, it spoke to him in the there? evening. They they saw him. In the cool of the evening, wouldn't they? Yeah, they? They never saw him. Yeah. No man has seen God at any time, mm. Jesus said. Yes, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. So when it says it, they walked in the in the garden in the in cool, the cool of, the of the evening, or something. yeah. Yeah. What is that actually referring to then? It's not a parable, is it? Because Jesus always spoke in parables. No, because it also talks about Abraham. He walked before me habitually, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. But Abraham, what did he do? He also went and, and lied about his wife. Because he didn't. He must have lacked faith to do that. Yeah, yeah that's right. Exactly, yeah. it was a lapse of faith. Undoubtedly, Ishmael is an, ex is an example of a, 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 mm. of, a, of a failure in faith. Mm. But all planned of God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you got, got riches out of that. A um, multitude yeah. of nations for Ishmael. Yeah. And golden asses and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> from the people that you went yeah. to. No, but the Bible says in Rome, in John 1, doesn't it? It says that the, in the beginning. What's the word? Was, you know, in the beginning. Was it Christ Jesus they were seeing yeah. during all those times? Yeah, it was. One John baptism. Oh, the word. The Logos. Yeah. In the beginning was the word or the Logos. Yeah. And the Logos was with God and the Logos yeah. was, was God. Is what this version says, and what most other versions says. So John fact, one is it. It should be translated. In the beginning was the logos, and the logos was with God, and God was the logos. In in the concordant, it says was toward God. Yeah, and that's yeah. right. And, and, it, and it says that God is more of a title yeah. than a uh, name. Yeah, yeah. Which it is, says in the beginning was so the word, which is Christ. Then? It is because yeah. yeah. Sorry. So right. In the beginning was the word, which yeah, is the Christ. Logos has always been around. Right. Hasn't it? Before the creation. Because the Logos, yeah. again, being the agent. What know, about Elohim? Yeah. Elohim, that's, God, that's, that's the Hebrew word for Well, yeah. you've got Al, which is the Hebrew word for God. Elohim, yeah. is, is it, isn't that towards or... or uh, it's, the, it's all the... Uh, it can, be, it but, can mean God, just God, or it can mean even the angels. As well. Right, the, the, the whole heavenly host. Yeah. First, didn't Jesus walk in the garden? Yeah. He did. Yeah, they, the, the Logos, God was the Logos. The ones where it says they, they met God, it was meeting him, the Logos. He is the express image of the Father. God is invisible. Yeah. Jesus ex specifically, expressly said, no man has seen God at any time. And, and, so and Paul the Apostle says the invisible God. God. They were walking with Christ then, with, with Logos. Yeah. yeah. With Christ before he emptied himself. Yeah, before, before he emptied himself and became a man. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. So, so do you think God has had, so when Christ died on, on, on the cross, was that when God took him up to heaven and when, you know the psalm where David says, my Lord said to my Lord, sit on my right hand and I'll make your enemies your footstool. Yeah. Was that when he went out and sat on his right hand then? Yes. So the, the Lord, as he walked in the Old Testament times, isn't walking in the earth in that way now? No. Mm -hmm. No, of course not, because uh, he, he became a man. Yeah. Yeah, and then he died, and now he's in the heaven. Yeah, he's at the right hand of God, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And supposedly interceding for us. He, it, it, I it, mean, when you think of what Jesus did, I mean, that's why you know when we have a lot. How much we owe him because he emptied himself of all that he had. Yeah, walking with God as the Logos. What he, what he, you know, it doesn't say anything about what he did or whatever as the Logos. But a person as what he emptied himself and took upon him the form of man. Like we are, you know, we the angels we suffer. Yeah. It's incredible. But God has crowned him with glory and honour and given him a name above every name. Yeah. And you know, he said, he said, sit at my right hand until I make of your enemies your footstool. Yeah. If after the thousand year reign and um, kingdom there can be a thousand year satanic reign, then during that time all his enemies haven't been made his footstool yet, have they? No. Which means he would he not then 
Would, would he be waiting until after that to, to return again? He returns before the millennium, and that is when that the restitution of all things begins. Yeah. The sons of God, as I see it, will go out to minister to the whole of the house of Israel. And all of the house of Israel, by the end of that millennial reign, will be perfected. And then that bride will come down from heaven, for, you know, speaking as a parable, will come down as a bride adorned for her husband. And then she, that is all perfected Israel, will invite all the heathen mm. in as well. And that's when it will go out, then the restitution will proceed out then to the heathen. Um, and it will continue. It says of Jesus, what a wonderful thing it says, of the increase of his government there shall be no end. Yeah. This government will go on extending. More and more will come no, into this it, kingdom. It, it, that's right. Of course, of course it does. Because yeah, yes. he'll subject him to that, new... That, exactly, Chris. That's exactly what I was going to say. That will carry on expanding until everybody's in. Mm. And then it mm. says he will give up the kingdom to the Father. Yeah. We'll be in the spirit then, All of us. Everyone. Mm. Every creature that's every person yeah, who's ever been when, created. When, when Spirit, yeah, absolutely. We will be immortal. Yeah, we will be immortal. Yeah. 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 That's incredible, isn't it? I, I, I long for that day. I really yeah. do long for that day when, yeah. when, when we see Christ yeah. face to face. Yeah. And the, the, the living nation died, and the, and the dead know nothing. Yeah. 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 Right. Now, I, I'm very happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but but uh, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people yeah. that I meet aren't. No, no, they're not. And, uh, no, and, they're not. and, I, and I, I'm feeling that, that Tony Mack probably isn't. And one of the things that uh, I, I think he might say to me is how about... And, and it's a valid question, actually. Uh, when, when Christ was crucified with yeah. the, uh, the thief, robber, the he, he says, I tell you, this day you shall be with me in paradise. Yeah, that's right. So what does that mean then? What it means is, is again, it's a poor translation, it's or be, and it's based purely on... Yeah. Um, uh, I tell you today. Yes. Yo. I tell you today. Yeah. I, I say today. to you today, you, you will be with, you me, will be with me in mm -hmm. paradise. Not as in, in yeah, 24 hours. Emphasizing it. Of course, emphasizing it's coming clear to me now. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't know that now. So that I didn't it's an emphasis. It's like I say to you now, I say to you today, yeah. Sonny, that two weeks' time, we're going to go to Australia. Yeah, yeah. And it's an emphasis. Yeah. yeah. It's sort of, this is a fact. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, like when I died. Yeah. Not like in when, I, when we both die today, the same day, in the same 24-hour yeah, period, yeah. we will be... Yeah. Yeah, you no, will no. be with me in paradise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> be sure of it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's completely clear. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know that, and I've forgotten now. Yeah. 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 There's two meanings for that, isn't uh, there? I think things? certainly that we for a part of the time, I should think, Caroline, yeah. yeah. But obviously the sons of God won't, because they'll be no, like the, no. the messengers in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they will carry on being uh, yeah. children, yeah? yeah. That makes so it's going to be fast, isn't it? That's a huge number. But what glory for the Father. Yeah. Is it 14 billion and that's only this planet? Yeah. I don't know if there's any more planets out I there, Chris. So, yeah. I don't think so. You're now reminded, you are. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think there's any other... Um, I don't think there is. This is it. I think there's definitely... This is this, uh, just, just here, there's so nothing else. So do I. Yeah. Oh, that, 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 this is where the Son of God came. Yeah. He's not been sacrificed in other places, is it? He came here. There's a, there's a place called uh, SETI, uh, an establishment yeah. called SETI. Search, Search for Extraterrestrial, for extraterrestrial yeah. Intelligence. Yeah. And they, they've got these massive... Um, transmitters. Tra well, receivers, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and they, they're, and they're looking... Uh, yeah. And, and transmitters, <laughs> probably, yeah. yeah. They're sending and, out signals, aren't they? Yeah, this in, in the, 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 the quietest part of the radio spectrum, which is around about 10 gigahertz. And, and they're, they're, they say if they're going to hear any weak signals, and any from any intelligent life form, they're going to know that that's the quietest part of the radio spectrum, and that's where they're going to communicate. And they've 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 looked left, right, up, down, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Radio right. signals there don't stop; so they keep going, don't they? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. There, there are so many assumptions that they travel at the speed of light. Yeah, well, it still take supposedly. Yeah. What? Yeah. You know, but billions we're not, and billions we're of years. We're not that far away from some of the nearest stars. Andromeda. Like thousands of. of yeah. Uh, like but you would still right? hear a signal anyway, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because you just pick it up. You haven't got to wait. The signal's already going anyway. Yeah, but the thing is, there are enough stars within, you know, within a few thousand years for those to have reached us by now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. The signals will still be there, but they will be incredibly, incredibly weak. 
Oh, well, prob probabilistically square. speaking, it, it, I mean, it, if, you, if you assume that uh, my life evolved on this planet or something like that, probabilistically speaking, it'd be in a miracle if there wasn't a life out there. Yeah. That, that we've had nothing yeah. back yet is, yeah. is, a, is, a, is a miracle. It's, it's, it's a confirmation the way that there's nothing else out there, yeah. isn't there? You'd have but still, the amount of found rate, some kind of a, a, a way to get a, a radio signal out there because it's. It's not that difficult to do, is it? To actually make a radio yeah, signal. That's right. It's not that's rocket science. Simple. It's very simple yeah. to do that. And you just thought they'll, they'll probably have the same elements which we've got, the same metals as well. Yeah. You know, yeah, and therefore be able to construct some kind of a, yeah. you know, a, a device to set out a, a signal because it's probably crossed their mind as well that, well, are we alone in the universe? Let's let out a signal just so that we are. Hello, we are here. Yeah. The, the, the assumption Seti makes though is that if there are aliens, they're going to be familiar to us or something like that. They say, oh, well, they, they would look in the quietest aspect of the, um, part of the radio spectrum, assuming that they've got a logic similar to ours, that conditions on their planet are similar to ours. Well, I, th I, think, I think in a universe where gra gravity is the same, more or less all over, uh, okay, you can have different bodies, different weights of gravity, but it's still got an effect on it. And um, you're also going to. Well, I mean, I, I don't know what the makeup of other planets will be. We haven't found any other planets yet, have we? No, we haven't. Which can sustain life, as it is were. It, I think the, 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 the best representation of an alien life form in any film I've seen is Solaris. It's a totally, they say, it's totally weird. Nobody has a clue what, is going, what, what, what the alien's doing. And they ask questions like, how can we tell whether this alien is compassionate or not? Or whether it's such terms are applicable to it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, th I think uh, we, you, you might be right. I mean, I, I'm open-minded about it myself, but I think if I was pushed on it, I'd say that we are probably a sp the special creation. I think so. We are. And yeah, yeah. Don't forget, we, got, we, are, we receive the personal attention of the Father. Yeah. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. We are Christ's personal attention. Mm. Bear in mind that, that He is that the express image of the Father. The Father has given us as his own personal gift yeah. to the Son. Yeah. We are very precious to the Father. This is the Creator we're talking about. That's right. Yeah. You know, God hasn't just decided, well, yeah, our numbers, every odd number from, you know, sort of that one to that, I'll sit here and go, yeah. He knows us by name. Yeah. He knows the, the hairs on our head are yeah. numbered, you yeah. know. The, the, God has got special concern and interest in each one of us. It says he has respect to the work of his hands. It's very important to him. He's like, he is like a master craftsman who's got all his attention fixed on making us in the image and likeness of himself. Mm. That is not some random thing that he's picked out. I've got, oh, I've got, any, yeah, I've got a million planets on doing this on. This is something special. Well, very, we are something special. Very special. We are very special. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that he's aware of everything that's happening at yeah. the moment. He's got that intimate attention to it. Definitely. That, that's awesome. That, that is really glorious. Because yeah. like, we, we, we can just about read one thing at a time. Or yeah. watch one thing yeah. at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe Definitely. two things, but not really take it in. Yeah. But God's got everything. And in the minutest detail. So that every aspect of our life, Every event in our life is yeah. meticulously planned. He knows when a spiral falls to the ground, doesn't yeah. he? At some point yeah. in the future, there's going to be a, a, re a resurrection of, all, of, every, of every single person that has died. Now, I know, I know that, 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 that the living population now is... Uh, 6.5 or 6.3 e billion. Is equal to... What's they've gone before. So far, all those gone, that yeah. have died before. That's right, yeah. They reckon. Yeah. So, if all those that are resurrected died before, then, then basically you're just going to double the population of the planet. Yeah. At the moment. Yeah. If that, if that happens now. Yeah. So there's still plenty of plenty of space, isn't there? Yeah, there is plenty of space, um, but it's every man in his own order. They'll all yeah. be resurrected in time, and there is a vast universe out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is to be populated. Yeah. And to be governed by the sons of God. Yeah, there, there's a pattern in scripture, isn't there? Like with Egypt, yeah. it was called an iron furnace. And they go yes. in there, a few, a few men, yeah. or a few people, yeah. and they come out a multitude. That's right. And yeah. that's what the earth is for mankind, yeah. isn't it? It's Absolutely. Like it's, it's exactly that. Yeah, precisely. Mm -hmm. They went in 70 souls, they came out 2 million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over 400 years. Yeah. Yeah. Over 400 years? Yeah. yeah. Long they 70 and they came out 2 million? Yeah. Well, I think they've actually calculated when you sort of extrapolate back. Yeah. 
the but population the, as it is now, they can go all the way back to to Noah. Yeah, 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 to Noah. But how are they, they taken into uh, into account? So we're all descendants of Noah then. Mm -hmm. we, we are all descendants of Noah, really, aren't we? All, Sorry, we're all descendants of Noah. Most all of us, of his family. Yeah. Most no, of Noah was the second Adam, in a sense. Mm. Yeah, it was a new, it was a new beginning. Mm -hmm. but, uh, it was a new most era. Most people wasn't it? descended from Noah. Yeah. You knew that, you know. You just confirmed it to me. Yeah. But I wouldn't be dogmatic. No. no. They're well, human I mean, like us. I have greatest respect for all oh, people. Absolutely. Yeah. All but people. that's right. But who's going to be greatest among you? He that is servant of all, right? So, so do we then, because God has given Adam supremacy, does that mean that we lord it over these people? Yeah. By no means. Yeah. By no means. Yeah. Yeah. He that is greatest among you, servant of all. Yeah, that's right. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Good Bible study. It's warm in here, Jeff. Well, it's lovely, warm in here. Sleep well tonight. <laughs> so, so, what about intermarrying with them? That's an abomination. Yeah, I don't think it's it is. Yeah. Oh. But the, the, their offspring, like the uh, offspring of, of intermingled people, they're, they're often you know, like, more, more stronger than other people. Yeah, yeah. it's still an abomination. Oh. I think it's wrong. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's in every like race. race. Yeah. Sorry, Jeff. Yeah. 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 yeah, God speaks against it altogether in the law. You know, I mean, I don't. You know, Again, the law was there to be broken, wasn't but it? But the law is there for God. For, you know, there, there's a good advice in the law about not mixing this and not and not eating certain things, for example. Yeah. You know, it's, it's it's valuable advice. Yeah. The Creator knows what He's doing. Yes. What's that in there, Jeff? Raisins. What's that in there? Nuts. 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 Yeah. Fruit. Yeah. Fruit. <laughs> well, yeah. So yeah. 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 Cheers, Chris. Good to see you. All the best, Chris. All right, Jay Green. All the best, Roy. Yeah, I'll see you next week. We'll be in what? Yeah. See you next week.